Hey everybody, welcome back to Three Rivers Outdoors, it's Jay. It is October in Western Pennsylvania. We made some wonderful uh, butternut squash soup and now we are gonna dehydrate it so that you can take it on the trail, put it in a jar, put it on your shelf, do whatever you wanna do with it. So stay tuned, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, video on exactly how to do this and um, hopefully you'll like it, so stick around. So first things first, um, we've got our dehydrator set up here um, in the most scientific place on the corner of our uh, dining room floor. That's what we're gonna use to um, dehydrate our soup. It's a Lem um, dehydrator, you've seen us use this before. So next thing you know, uh, we're gonna jump over to um, the, uh, the kitchen to do right Show now is um, actually use the, uh, these rings that are used for um, like a fruit leather. And we're gonna use our food scale and we're gonna use a bowl to measure out our servings. So hang out one second and let me get a bowl full. Um, really scientific by the way, we're gonna do like two and a half bowls is gonna be our serving. So guys, our next step is we need to have a couple of things um, written down. We're going to need a pen and paper. We're going to need some fruit leather trays. There's my dog Max and Mavi Poo. We're also going to need a food scale. And we're going to portion these out at about two cups each. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you right now. So with the liquid at two cups, we have Let's go ounces, 39.4 ounces. So keep that in mind. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our liquid around on this tray. And again, not perfect. There'll be a little bit left over in our, in our cup, our glass, but what we'll do is we'll let that settle out just for a second, like that. Just so happens it's about perfect. So hang tight as I portion four of these, and then we're gonna get them in the dehydrator. And I'll show you how to measure how much water to add back. Hang on. Okay guys, back at the, uh, uh, back at the sink here, just rinsing out my um, my two cup measuring uh, two cup measuring um, uh, little cup here, this glass cup that I was using to pour it in. Um, what we're gonna do now, and I apologize for the light. It is such a sunny, beautiful day outside. I shouldn't be inside at all. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna weigh in ounces the uh, the glass. So hang on a second. Okay, so as you can see here. We have exactly 21 ounces um, on this uh, measuring cup. That is empty. So hang on. Um, we're gonna go write that down right over here. As you can see, so 39.4, we've got 21. We can actually, we could probably round this up to 40. 40, it's hard to write and hold this. So then we got 21 ounces on the glass measuring cup. Sorry, there you go. So 40 approximately minus 21 is 19 ounces of, whoops, sorry, liquid. It's an easy thing to calculate what 19 ounces of liquid so, equals. With that being said, what we have now is 19 ounces liquid or 2.375 cups per ring. So what we're gonna get basically is a powder out of this. So let me show you how we're gonna get these onto the dehydrator. Hang tight. We slid these onto a dehydrator tray. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk these over. I'll show you here. I'm just gonna carefully put them in the little slots. As you can see, I've got them spaced out a little bit. So we're gonna go get this last one 
here. And this will go in our bottom slot. If I can. Now, we know we've got a long way here. So we're gonna turn this on and we, we're gonna need at least 16 hours. So, Sixteen hours at call it 140 degrees. We gotta grab our apologize here. We're gonna grab our cover for the dehydrator. And that's literally it, folks. Now we gotta wait. So stay tuned and I'll make this quick. Hey everybody. And this is the final product from the dehydrator. So as you can see, it's literally stuck to it like a wheel. Um, and this way is practically nothing. So I'm gonna do my best to try to sort of take this off in a, in a maybe like a big sheet as best as I can. So as you can see, it comes off relatively easily. It's a huge chunk. Smells delicious, by the way. What's nice about these plastic um, rings are that you can take off um, the entire batch of uh, whatever you've dehydrated, fruit, leather, whatever they call it, all in one piece. So as you can see, this is um, literally, I guess, I think we said this was what, two cups of, uh, of the, uh, the, the soup, the uh, squash soup. So we're gonna give this a try and see. We're gonna, we're gonna actually probably rip this up a little bit, put it into a Ziploc bag, but I just wanna kinda show you, look how clean that came off. And there's nothing left on there at all. Um, and uh, we have four of these. So then what we're gonna do is, um, not only did the, uh, the soup turn out delicious, but now we're gonna show you what it's like to reconstitute this. Um, so, my next step is to weigh it and see how much this actually weighs uh, in light of uh, what we gave up with the water. So we kept that in our notebook over here. So if you stay tuned a minute, we're gonna get our scale out and we're gonna show you what this weighs. So everyone, we're back. I've just torn the uh, butternut squash soup up into a couple smaller sections. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna weigh it and see exactly what it weighs relative to what we had originally written down in our notebook, which we said there was uh, 19 ounces of liquid and it was 2.375 cups of water that we thought has been um, uh, evaporated or otherwise dehydrated. So it weighed 21 ounces um, without the glass container, uh, the, the uh, mug or little measuring cup. So we're gonna weigh this right now. So we're gonna make sure that we have this in ounces. So remember 21 ounces is what it was without the glass. I have this in ounces right now. We have 1.6 ounces. So currently, 1.6 ounces is what is the solid part of our um, dehydrated soup. Um, not to say that uh, there couldn't be you know, a little more to dehydrate, but this is very dry. I mean, it does, it does crack, it bends a little, it cracks. Um, and actually, the taste of it, which is incredible, believe it or not, is it's very strong, it's very concentrated. Um, and it's also a little spicy because we made ours kind of spicy. So um, we think that this is probably pretty accurate. So what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna show you after a couple days what this is like reconstituted. Once we add 19 ounces worth of liquid back to this and show you exactly what it looks like, the soup, which you saw on a previous video. So hang on and uh, we'll be back in another video. Again, thanks for watching Three Rivers Outdoors and um, we should uh, probably pause for a couple days and let this you know, just kind of sit 
and um, we'll make some soup in a matter of time. Thanks.